Good morning, Tasland. We've seen many countries around the world adopting a range of different climate policies, from command and control to direct finance incentives, and from carbon pricing to adaptation. And now it's Tasland's turn. This morning, Prime Minister Carrie Ryan unveiled her government's ambitious new climate policy, the Tasland Emissions Trading Scheme. Tasland is already feeling the impacts of climate change, and my government is taking action. The Tasland Cap and Trade Scheme sets an ambitious target for reducing national greenhouse gas emissions by 20% in only three years. The ETS will cover emissions from the mining, power, cement and iron and steel sectors, the largest contributors of greenhouse gas emissions in Tasland. These sectors must reduce their emissions for the health of all Taslandians. If they cannot innovate to stay below our new cap, they will be held financially liable. The money paid by these emitters will be used to fund renewable energy and other low carbon technologies. This is a great day in the history of Tasland. Our government is committed to a low carbon future so that our children and our children's children will breathe clean air and inherit an earth in pristine condition. Well, it seems the speculators were right. Tasland is heading towards an emissions trading scheme. Now it's up to Tasland companies in those targeted high emissions sectors to up their game and down the carbon footprint. Let's hope they can do it and still keep our economy strong. Great, more regulation to deal with. Well, we don't have to comply. We're car manufacturers, so we don't fall under the scheme. Yes, but we have just acquired our own steel refinery and the Prime Minister did say that the steel sector would be covered by the ETS. OK, so does that mean we do have to participate in the scheme? Well, only if the steel refinery exceeds the emissions threshold. The problem is we don't actually know how much greenhouse gas our company emits. We'll need to calculate our total annual emissions. I expect this could actually be an opportunity for us. We might identify some inefficiencies in the manufacturing process. This could be a big boost for our Greening Tasland for You ad campaign. Our competitors have been reporting their carbon footprints for years. It's time we caught up. OK, OK. Sam, can you please schedule a meeting with our carbon and energy manager? We need to discuss how we're going to go about conducting a carbon footprint.